Today we're out on the driving range testing out T200 irons, both the 2019 version and the new 2021 version. Thomas is going to hit some shots, provide his feedback, and we'll see how they compare on TrackMan. Also golfers, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment for a bunch more in-depth club reviews coming in the future. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing, and we are outside today on the driving range, a very warm summer day. Uh, we've got the T200 irons, Thomas. You've got the 2019 version in your hand. I've got the brand new 2021 version. Uh, so Tylus has changed up a few things with the T200 iron uh, over the past couple of years, generation to generation here. Um, just visually looking at it, there's some differences, and also we'll find out on TrackMan as well what the differences are. But um, Thomas, first glance, um, you know, based on what you know and what you see, uh, what do you think we'll see as the, you know, the main differences today? Well, talking about the look, so the original T200, it has that chrome look over the entire face and, and, and also the sole and basically the whole club. Yep. What I'm noticing with the new T200 is it does still have the chrome on the sole and around the club, but the face does have a little mm -hmm. more satin look to it. So it's not as shiny in the, in the middle. That's the first thing I'm noticing at a dress. The other thing to keep in mind with the new T200 is loft. We actually know that the new type, this T200, actually is a degree weaker. Mm -hmm. So looking down at a dress, I feel like I can just see just a little bit more loft with, them, with that club as well. Uh, the original T200, I'm not going to lie, it does look like it's just a little bit sleeker, however. Yeah. So I was looking from toe side originally, I definitely could notice it with the new T200 looking a little bit larger. Yeah. Maybe just to touch a little more forgiving there too. Mm -hmm. So a little bit more loft, but a little bit more forgiveness. So I'm going to be excited to see how they stack up today. Yeah, because it looks like the new T200, they, so it looks a little bit, to me, it looks a little cleaner looking at the back of the club. They've kind of maybe covered up some of that max impact technology back there. Um, but I think it's also a little bit larger. So curious to see how that plays because it also has less loft. So um, yeah, I'm very curious to see how they compare because there are some, I think, more stark differences between these clubs than say the T100s where there's maybe the differences are more subtle. So um, curious, Thomas, uh, I'm ready to see you hit some shots. Yeah, the, the back here, that screw, you can't see it anymore. Right. Uh, like you said, it's kind of covered up. Yeah, so exactly. You can see the badge here is just kind of covering everything where the original one, mm -hmm. it was a pretty obvious screw that you yeah. could see there that was that was helping out. But now that's at a dress, you can't see that. Right. But it's certainly, you know, it, for a lot of golfers, that, that type of thing does matter. So yeah, if it's sitting in the golf bag or sitting in the shelf, it may yeah. not look quite as appealing, but definitely looks like a very appealing golf club. I'm excited to see how it tests. Out to the right. Yep. Pretty similar shot. Right. Oh, it had a little more draw to it. It's just pretty straight. The wind definitely is going that way because it's just holding it up. Yeah, yeah. Because you got a draw here on the Trackman tracer, yeah. but there is some not wind much of a draw. Kind of this way, I think. High and straight. Mm-hmm. It's kind of what you're looking for. Oh yeah, that's good too. Well, that was five pretty good swings. They were. All just right of center, it seemed mm -hmm. like. Yep, you got five that were, yeah, they're pretty close together. This person is actually pretty tight. Um, so I did want to ask you, so I mean, I guess, you know, we have hit a little bit of the 2021 T200 and some other testing. And this is the 2019 version now. So um, I guess if there's a quick, you know, maybe preview of what the differences could be in terms of like feel and sound and all those things, what do you think? Well, 
we're already hitting the the new T two hundred and just talking about how it's a little bit louder. Yeah. I do expect it might be just a little bit louder overall versus the older model. Yeah. I think we're going to find that out here one or two swings in pretty pretty nicely right off the bat. Um, I mentioned kind of look at address so loft. Um, I could I just seem to me like just a little bit less loft at, at address and we mm -hmm. know 30 degrees of loft on the 2019 T200 and we have 31 degrees yep. with the 2021 T200. So I'm excited to see if there's really any differences in distance or spin or yeah. maybe it's just some other subtle differences in technology to make up for that. Sure. Yeah, it's quite mm, much yep. louder. A lot yeah. louder. Because that was a crisp contact, right? Yeah. Like that was hit. That was hit really solid. And I could notice it was It a almost lot sounds in comparison, almost sounds kinda like you missed it a little bit. I didn't miss that one. But you didn't, because looking that at one these solid. numbers, you certainly hit it really, really good. So yep. it's loud. Looks like good, wasn't it? Yeah, it looks like good. That one I didn't quite catch. It just seems like it's Sold. jumping a little bit more off the face. Yeah, well, that one I felt like was a little miss it. Interesting because you have, well, the spin did kind of go up there. I was going to say your ball speed was still over 130 miles an hour, but carried it 182 that time. Okay. Spin, I think spin, that was a little low on the face. Yeah, your spin was just under 7,000 okay. versus the other ones were right around kind of 6,000. Oh, yeah. That's a good strike right there. Yep. That should reduce the spin down a little bit. If I went over, ooh, that flew a little further. Interesting, That's, that registered a high number, or a high rate of spin. Same as the last shot. Hmm. On average, what is the spin about? 65. Versus the other one was oh, like 62, was like right? The 62s, yeah. Another solid one. Regardless of the year, I feel like I'm hitting the T200. It's pretty solid. Yeah, you've you've struck the T200s really well today, through ten shots. Um, so again, we're gonna kind of go over that sound and feel deal because um, we already noticed the sound. It's much louder in the new version than uh, the 2019 version. Yep. Uh, how about feel? Did you notice the difference in feel between the two at all, or is it pretty similar? I think the sound is just, it's just covering that, that feel up for me. I just, knowing that it's louder, I feel like it's, it's coming off a little firmer. Yeah. So I, I can't really notice too much of a difference okay. in the feel, but the, a lot of people do say sound is feel. So that's yeah. one thing I'm kind of noticing. One thing I do notice though with the new 2021 T200 is it kind of looks like the old T100. Kind of having that, uh, the chrome, yeah. chrome, and a little more satin face. Mm -hmm. So it definitely looks a little bit more, more like that. In terms of like the, the, you know, the aesthetics, the aesthetics color of and address. Yeah. yeah, the coloring and everything like that. And loft. Now, let's see what what was the spin rate difference there between so, the two of them. Yeah. So spin rate on the new version at 31 degrees of loft was 64.75. Okay. Um, and the 2019 version 62.77. So pretty much 200 RPM difference in yep. one degree of loft. That's pretty much what you'd expect. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I'd expect. And then, so in terms of dispersion, the T, the new version with just a little bit left, I guess, okay. uh, versus the previous model. I think we saw that too on the shots. It was just a little bit kind of more of a, the draw was working a little bit better with the new version. Yeah. And these are the exact same golf shaft, same lie angle, uh, nothing that, that that changed. It yeah. could be just that maybe one degree more loft, uh, looking down at it too. And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not really noticing any difference really in, in offset between the two of them, but yeah, yeah, both. Well, hit pretty well. It just yeah. seemed like I mean, they were. You, you struck the ball very well. You're very consistent in terms of the ball speeds. Uh, you know, 131.7 with the older version, 132.2 with the new version. Carry distance is both in the 188 uh, category, and then actually carry distance of 188 and total of 193, really, with both of them. So okay. um, that's you're right on the money there. I mean, it's it's pretty clear that they're very similar clubs. Uh, it's just that that one degree of loft maybe changed a little bit in terms of the spin as well. But yeah, so um, the more loft was generating a little more spin, but it wasn't really giving us more distance. No, or, or less distance essentially. Right. Yeah. Just because yeah. that spin difference kind of almost because you were sp swinging about nine tenths of a mile an hour faster okay. with the new version. So all in all, the performance it's, is pretty similar across the board. 
Um, we just noted, you know, how that loft will increase the spin. We also noted some, uh, you know, differences in how they look and sound as well. Yeah. It's loud, it's solid, but it's really forgiving, really easy to hit a little straight. Yeah, you were hitting the ball yeah. on the money today. I mean, those dispersion circles on the screen that people can see are pretty, pretty tight out there. So um, it's, a, it's a great performing golf club, no doubt about that. And then it's just, I think it comes down to what golfers like to look at in terms of comparing these two. And also worth noting that we do have a good selection uh, of the 2019 T200 iron sets uh, in our inventory. And so if you're somebody that, uh, you know, doesn't want to spend the top dollar, so to speak, you can get a pretty similar golf club uh, with the T200 2019 version in our selection to get fit for that as well. So um, Thomas, this was some great, uh, some great testing, some great information and some great feedback from you today. Yeah, Titleist irons, they're, they're solid. T100, 200, 300, whether they be 2019 or 2021, mm -hmm. they're exceptionally good. So golfers, if you love our channel, make sure you subscribe and also leave us a comment, like our videos. We really appreciate all the feedback you can give us.